God is at work all across the world right now. On today's show, you're going to be blown away just by the people and the experiences that you get to see. I'm Raya Berryhill, and this is Mission Messiah. Shields with Gerald Reed of KACT Radio. Viewers' comments and more. Are the lights in the dark? So. Hey Amen. It's okay. Amen. Amen. Uh, okay. Anybody have a praise report? Got a lot of orders coming today. Really? Yes. Uh, embroidery. Embroidery. Yes, sir. Awesome. Yes. Praise this is the God, and I love that. The one you were working on yesterday. The jacket, he came in and, and picked it up like today. It? Yes, he's going to order some more shirts. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> we rocked on tagging. And we rocked on tagging. Woo! I got it done. Yes. Praise God. Yeah. So mud pie's almost finished. Yes, it should be done. It is done. <laughs> to tell us that. Yeah. <laughs> I hear chains falling. Yes. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God. Anybody else? Just thankful it was a good day. Wonderful devotion and praise and worship. Woo! Amen. Amen. Brother Brand has blessed us last year. Yes. 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 He blessed me. Yeah. Well, we're we're going to expect him back soon. You know, yeah. we get to be blessed with a little more of this praise and worship since it's <laughs> helping us on the video. Woo! Amen. Okay. Come on, glory to God. Mr. Jim, would you close us? Frank, Father, we thank you so much. Lord, we're just so thankful. We stand in awe of you. And we thank you for your goodness and your mercy, Lord God. We just thank you that you have uh, given us everything that mm -hmm. pertains to life and godliness. And, and then, then you've underscored it. And you're underscoring it in our lives. We thank you for your unconditional love. Yes. yes. Father, may we can each, may each lady that's here uh, on the campus and, and platinum as well. May each one of them come to know and be able to understand what unconditional love is. Yes. How much that you love us. Amen. And just expecting uh, each other uh, to be accountable, first of all, to yourself yes. and to the authority that's on us. Father, we just thank you that you, that as uh, so many have said, uh, this isn't rocket science. And you have made this simple. Mm -hmm. so just thank you. thank you for your peace on each one. Thank you for releasing joy in each one of us. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, ladies. Love y'all. Thank you, Jimmy. We are back. Yes, we are. More of the trading post right here, and we have guests. And we have some returning guests and we a do. new guest. Esteemed guest. Esteemed guest. Yes. Now, I know we're going to talk about an amazing television program that you do, Jamie, and that's called Mission Messiah. Well, basically, Mission Messiah, uh, we're about 21 years old here in the Permian Basin. Uh, we take women and women with children that have found themselves in extremely difficult places, often manifesting in drug use, uh, alcoholism, uh, prostitution, any number of things, uh, abusive relationships. The prerequisite for coming into Mission Messiah, because as I say, there's, there's not a charge or a fee, which is unusual. We've had people that the month before their families paid thirty to $50,000 a month for them to be in facilities, and we're at no charge, and yet we get phenomenal results. 
that's the interview process, and that's the discernment that we pray for. What percentage would you say that you are able to to get to and and turn those lives around? Is that a fair question? It, it really is, and and I'm I'm very encouraged to be able to say that the the world's standard runs at about three to five percent success in secular programs. We probably get seventy to eighty percent through the program, uh, and if, if we can get 70 to 80 percent all the way through the, the initial 12 months and then we have a six-month gradu graduate program, then they're going to be 80 percent plus successful, which is you That's can, phenomenal. It is. It, it really phenomenal. is. It is. Yeah, I've, I've been to that WOW store. That, that, that's, that's an <laughs> awesome store. It is. And it's a great program. Great program. Thank you so much. We're standing at Market Street. You know the world is a market. It's, it's a convergence of ideas and thoughts and voices and influences. But you know the Word of God tells us that we are not to be conformed to the pattern of this world, but rather we are to be transformed by the renewing of our minds so that we will know what is the good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So the television thing I didn't mention because the Mission Messiah television about three years ago, the Lord began to impress upon us that that, that he wanted us to expand, advance what we do through television. And now we're really moving out because we're very excited that through the ITVN network, we're, we're in all 195 nations on the earth now. How does this um, process with, with these uh, women, how does that begin? Do they first come to you? Uh, actually, uh, they, they do, Gerald. They basically learn of us many ways, often referrals by families that have had loved ones in this situation. We honestly, uh, over the last uh, probably 10, 12 years now, ha have a number of, of court-ordered individuals, although we receive absolutely no funding whatsoever from the government. We are, we are strictly funded by individuals that are, are impressed by the Lord. Probably today standing, one of our, our oldest families uh, that support Mission Messiah live right here in Andrews, Texas, and saw us probably 20 years ago on GLC and have given every month for 20 years. Wow. Right here That's out of great. Andrews, Texas. Well, that just goes to show you the, the caliber of people that live here in our community. I'm telling you. We love Andrews. And let's talk a little bit about Mission Messiah, okay. the program. You said it's been on for three years? Uh, the, actually, the, the television program has, is now just past its second year, 24 months that we have now aired. That was originally the first year we ran on Channel 7, uh, 10.30 a.m. Sunday mornings, right after Face the Nation and right before First Baptist Odessa. So it's been a good time slot for people not at church. Uh, and have had good good results. We're going to begin adding other other channels and networks. It's a 30 minute show. 30 minute show. 30 minute show. Right. And, and you know we've kind of dubbed this thing. I'm telling you, it is positive television to enhance your life. Mm -hmm. I mean, it just brings hope. There's there's tears. There's a, there's laughter. There's it's just an array of of things that that pull at one's heart. But there's a lot of truth right out of God's Word that is spoken throughout this show. Is there a number of, of uh, <clears throat> women that have gone through the program and uh, they're, 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 they're happy with their lives, they're happy with where they are? And is there any kind of number that you, that you have that you could share with us? Oh gosh, Gerald, it's hard to say. 20 years, in that, that, that 20 years is a lot, it really is. You know, a lot of people think you can turn a life in three months or something. And so we started at three months, we went to four months, five months, six months, seven months, and then jumped to 12 months. And, and we have found 12 months. By then, 
you pretty much know and you've had you've worked with someone long enough to know if they really are understanding and that that the change has taken place in their heart so over that time in all these years we probably have an average of 15 to 20 families that we're working with at any one time so I guess if you took and applied all those numbers across for 20 years or at least for 15 we would we could get you a number not sure that you know everything you've listened everything you've mentioned is just it's just awesome certainly the best to you in the program and the best to you so. in the, in your television program as well mission messiah we hope all of our folks will will watch for that thank you is, well, there, a, is there a phone number or an address <coughs> that somebody can contact you at absolutely uh the mission phone number is 580-432-580-5222 and of course you can find our website at missionmessiah.org um, and we, we would love to hear from you if you have a loved one or a family member that you know is hurting that is dealing with these issues, then uh, we would we would love to talk with them. Good. Thanks, Jamie. Thank you, Gerald, both of you, very much. Thank you. Enjoyed it. The best to you. Bless you, man. Jamie Berry Hill, right there, and uh, Brant Fricker. Yeah. Great, great people. Great program. Um, previous law enforcement officers, everybody knows. I, I know this program works. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, so if you have somebody that that you need a little help. Give, give Jamie a call. That's right. Because we're here to do life God's way. Does that make sense? That's what we're here for. We're going to learn to do it God's way. Every one of us will stand before the judgment throne of God and give an account of what we did with Jesus. What we have here is a, is a physical exercise uh, that will <laughs> tax the body. And, and we do this, again, as a, as a means of discipline. And, and it's because it's not something that they literally cannot do. You know, some things you can, uh, and you're dealing with adults, but in this situation, they literally have to move the 90 pounds from one point, point A, to point B. So uh, they, they're going to have to exert energy or they, you know, I've had them flat out rebel and say, I am not doing that. And, you know, it, at that point in time, then you have the, you have the total in your face rebellion. So at that point, you just tell them, well, you're on your own. And they may say, well, what does that mean? And, that, and what that means is then, then you'll be walking back and, and you need to pack your things and, and go on to what it is that you want to do. Uh, it, it, you know, and the sad thing is what they came out of because that's what the devil, that's what the enemy of their soul is trying to get them back to is what, what they knew before. So that's what, this, this is the battle. But if they will endure this, this exercise of discipline, God's Word says that discipline is intended to bring about the peaceable fruit of righteousness. And so that's, that's what this is about. We're after the peaceable fruit of righteousness. We want the disrespect, the rebellion, the I'm going to do it my way, out of our lives so that we can live the abundant life that Jesus wants every one of us to live in. But we're only going to have it when we do life according to His precepts. Amen? Amen. Come on, Come on keep the momentum. Don't stop. Don't stop. You don't want to lose, lose momentum. Come on, baby. Come on, Come on, baby. You got it. You got it. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Just keep driving. Baby. Just keep driving. Come on. Good job, bro. I can do all things through Christ. I can do all things through Christ. Everybody in! Come on! 
Let's go, guys. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Business Services is your source for color printing, signage, graphic art design, wide format printing, and custom embroidery. Zip Business Services is an authorized FedEx shipping location located at 943 North Grandview in Odessa. Zip on over. This is quintessentially Tex Mex. Exactly. Come on in. I said, I feel like I'm in the jungle. <laughs> 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 Sit down. There you go. I'm so short. We're, 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 we're short too. Petite. She's petite, like petite, gorgeous. I am. I am very short Mexican lady. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank oh, you. Pass that this thank way. You. My son thank you. Thank you. Yeah. This is Hector. Thank you, Hector. Hector. Working for vintage? Really? Really? Yeah. He likes so business good. and he's autistic. I love that. Yeah. I love it. Very great. Yeah. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. So you watch the show? Yes, I do. Every Sunday that I don't work in the morning. Yes. First I watch a Sunday morning and then yours. Thank you and so then much. Thank you. And then I go to work. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope we lift you up. I hope we lift you up. Yeah. It's, um, I like it because you help people. Thank you. And I see around here a lot of other stuff. Blah, blah, blah. And sometimes we don't have the way to help. That's you it. find one, which is good. Well, you can always tell me if you I, see I, someone. I, I try to do it with the autistic person like my son. Yes. And I did a lot of work on, about that. Yeah, I was oh, on TV been, too. That's fantastic. Yeah, because when I, when we came, my son didn't even speak. Really? Yeah. And now really? He's bilingual. Wow. He's bilingual. Bilingual. And autistic. 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 And he works here. And he works? Yeah. No, I no, love that. Yeah. What's the reason? Because I came to the United States. There you go. Yeah. It's yeah. wonderful. wonderful. Yeah, I am. And so, yes. what is your first name? Maria Cristina. Together. Aha. Uh -huh. oh, Mexico. Maria in Mexico, everybody is named Maria. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hate Maria. <laughs> Too many. So you say Maria and everybody. <laughs> Maria, so Maria Cristina. Cristina. Yeah, I go by Cristina. Cristina? Like, with no H. I'm Mexican, okay? There you okay. go. There you go. There you so go. Mexican got rid of the H? Is that really? Present? Okay. Yeah, it's with no H. Cultural thing, I didn't know. It's stronger. It's stronger. It's Cristina. Okay. Cristina. Cristina. Oh, uh -huh. I see. The difference, yeah. yeah. The way you say it. I love the place. Yeah. It just looks so great. And obviously the food. It's already the, we can. I've been bragging it. on your food. <laughs> I've been bragging. I'm I said, excited. I said we've got to go I'm eat. I'm so happy because you came back. But I wait. never thought, but I was seeing the commercial yesterday, and I was thinking about it. <laughs> well, we're yeah. yeah. And Herbie and I are frequent, frequent flyers here at the go. restaurant. And I live in New Mexico, but I promise I'll come every chance I get. Yeah, you need to. I come down every two weeks. You can enjoy with us because it's just, it's just a nice place to stay. It Even is. though I work all day long here, I don't get <laughs> tired. And I have been eating my food for 16 years and I don't get tired. Oh, so, so there you go. go. So it's not only good, but good for you. That's it's right. Good for you. Well, good for you. <laughs> when you shop at WOW, you're not only finding something special for yourself or a gift that you're desiring for someone else, you are blessing a mother and her children because this is all part of Mission Messiah and this is all part of their job training and their future means of provision. So thank you for partnering with us to be a blessing. So come see us at 815 North Grandview in Odessa on the corner of 8th and Grandview. Welcome to Perspective. I'm Haley McBride. And I'm Lena Kay. And so today, we actually wanted to touch on a subject that kind of uh, got brought to both of our attention and our spirits bore witness with it about 
the difference of Lord and Savior when it comes to Jesus. How would you explain the difference between Lord and Savior to someone who really didn't understand? Oh, man. Um, well, my salvation was when I asked the Lord Jesus Christ into my heart. And uh, I was then sealed with salvation. Amen. Um, Lord is more of a, there's more of an obedience factor there. Um, am I going to be obedient to his word? Am I going to be obedient to his voice? Um, am I going to follow him in every direction that he asked me to go? That's good. You know? That's good. I like, I like the fact that you said follow his word. I think a lot of people, they, they have it in their, in their head and in their understanding that whenever they accept the Lord Jesus Christ, even though they're doing what they feel like they want to do, that they're still serving Him, and it's a dramatic difference. Um, and actually, in Joshua chapter 24 of, of the Bible, it says, um, Choose this day whom you will serve. And as for me and my house, I will serve the Lord. And the great part about that is, is He's all-knowing. He has provision for our life. He... Uh, loves us so much, and He's going to lead, guide, and direct us in every aspect of our life that we need to go. What did you say earlier um, about serve? You looked it up, and oh yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. So actually, I got curious, and I was thinking to myself, um, what is serve in the Hebrew? Because of course, the Old Testament has Hebrew um, ties to that, and um, I looked it up, and serve in the Hebrew actually means to worship. Amen. And I was like, wow. So the verse immediately in the New Testament came to my mind. For God is spirit, and those who worship him will worship him in spirit and in truth. And so if we're truly worshiping or serving the Lord and not ourselves or anything else, we are walking out the word. Yeah. We are seeking him. We are like, and if we don't understand, we're seeking him. That's still worshiping and serving in an aspect of, I don't know what to do, but Lord, I'm seeking you out to show me what to do. Whom shall I serve? I'm going to follow after your precepts, Amen. your word. I'm going to study your word. I'm going to listen to your word. I'm going to look for your word in other people. I'm going to look for those fruits of the spirit in other people. I think that when you said that, it and I, I was like, man, I want to be worshiping, you know, all the time. And and it just hit me really hard, you know. I do worship. I am following the Lord. Um, I have changed, you know, my perspective on um, what's good in life and what's right in life. And I've, I've changed from just a salvation concept to a Lord. And now I feel like I'm going to tap into that abundance of His promises because I'm being obedient to His precepts and to His commandments. And I just think that that's huge. And it's worshiping Him. And it's not just praise, like you said. We're not yeah. just praising Him. We're, um, we're being obedient to Him and, and what He wants us to do. Amen. And taking, and taking ourself off of that level of us being Lord of our own lives. And our master. Yes, our own master. And, you know, the another scripture that comes to my mind is Proverbs 3, 5 through 7. And it says, trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean not on your own understanding. And acknowledge him in everything. And he will direct your path and make it straight. So if we acknowledge him in everything, and it's not just when things are bad. It's not just when... Um, something's not going our way, someone's making us upset or getting on our nerves, we're irritated at work. It's in every moment, um, in spirit and in truth. How am I going to serve the Lord when I'm being frustrated or, yeah. or angry or I'm fixing to get angry? How can I you know, serve the Lord in that moment? And in that moment, we can immediately be patient, remember that we're not the Lord, yeah. He's he's our master, and if we just step back a minute, he he will take the reins. But we have to acknowledge him in it. Yeah, that's true. He'll change our whole attitude if we make that first step of faith. Like, I don't want to be this way. I want to have this attitude, and that's acknowledging him and making him master and stepping out in faith. Like, Father, please help me change my attitude. Yeah. I mean, in every circumstance, 
that's how we need to look at it. Like he is sovereign. He has the power to change us, to change the way we act. All we have to do is ask him and acknowledge and him. Acknowledge him. And, and seek his kingdom first. Yeah. I mean, I love the fact that you said um, when, when we acknowledge him, then we start walking in it when he shows us because he will yeah. show us if we're seeking. That's the beauty yeah. about it. And that's, that's real growth is when we start checking ourselves and instead of having our eyes on everyone else around us. The thing that makes the mission different from most organizations is that it is driven truly. Everyone involved is engaged and involved out of love. Out of, out of genuine, sincere love. And I believe with all of my heart that that is, that is the ingredient that separates this work that manifests itself in such amazing transformations in another's life. And so I just want to introduce to you right now all of these ladies. I don't know if I'll get these in, all, in order, but uh, to my immediate right, I have Lauren. Hi, Laura. Do I get knuckles bam. now? Oh, bam! <laughs> That's right. And then uh, I have Wendy, Miss Humphreys. Uh, then I have Randy. And then I have Jessica. I had the privilege of leading the table with the Mission Messiah women. So we had had, as typical, my experience with Mission Messiah, where you think you're going to be so blessing of these women. And no, they just totally filled me up with joy and hope and Jesus and and so I had had this great interaction with them all day Saturday amazing and so Patty called me actually on Monday morning or texted me and said hey we're going over the mission tonight well I'm knee deep in children's ministry I'm a children's minister okay. and I did not have time to go I just knew I was like okay Lord you know what I need and I need to be at Mission Messiah so I just changed your plans. Changed my plans, and my husband was like, "Honey, what do you what?" I said, "I have to go. I just know I have to go because I just and I had told the ladies on Saturday, I'm coming. I'm coming to Mission Messiah. They are just Patty introduced me to the mission, and I I say it's my reset for life. And every time I go, I told my friends, the ladies at the mission on Monday, I said, "I need to come here and be with y'all because they just." I think it's the scripture in them. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's Jesus in them. But it just feel oh God goodness. when you walk in those doors, and they're just hearing all their stories and testimonies is just very uplifting. And yeah. so true to hear what they've come through. But the word of God is healing them. Mm -hmm. It is literally healing them, and it just inspires me. I'm like, it can heal me too. <laughs> so it's good stuff. It's such an unexpected feeling because I knew Patty when she was going through mission before mission and then after and I, I kind of had in my head this theory of what it was that it was like rehab you know and when I when Amy asked me to go um, and wanted us to bring our daughters if we felt called to I have a five-year-old nope six as of a week ago um, <laughs> uh, I thought what a great way to, I didn't know if it was a good idea to take her or not, but just felt like I needed to bring my kiddo with me. And I walked in and it was just such an amazing, like, feeling in the air. And I went home and told my husband, I'm like, what that is for my kid? Because my, my six-year-old sat there and we left and she said, you know who my favorite person was, mom, was Miss Candace. And it was not the other little girls that were there, not me, not any of us. It was the little, it was Miss Candace that we got to sit down with and we had dinner with and she shared her story. She was changed, I was changed. And I called Amy that and I'm like, we'll be going back. I mean, we want to serve. 